Hey guys, okay, to make your Weebly digital portfolio, the first thing you need to do is go to weebly.com. It's W-E-E-B-L-Y.com. When you get there, there's the sign up for free, put in your full name, enter an email address that you're gonna use and remember, and put in a password that you're gonna remember. If you do not know what to put here or you think you might forget it, put in your school Gmail account and either call this art1 or art2 as your password. That way I can at least prompt you to remember that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go to login because I already have an account. And from this point, I'm going to start, I'm going to add a site. When you add a new site, and this is what will come up for you once you hit like sign in, you're going to click on site, that's what we're making. Then it asks you to choose a theme. They literally have hundreds of these. For what we're doing, it really does not matter which one you pick. If you want to take a lot of time and choose one, that's fine. You just kind of mouse over it to choose it. So I'm going to pick this one. It's going to ask you to create a domain. This one with the .weebly.com, this is free. Weebly's kind of bad in the sense that they're always trying to get you to buy something. So where it says register a new domain, a .com, it's going to charge you for this one. And this one it's going to, um, what is this, connecting to a new one. We want to be right here. And I would like you guys to call this your name, our name I know you by. I have to do mine a little different since I already have another one made. So I'm going to do Jennifer Pierce Art Portfolio. So it should be your first name, your last name. And again, use the first name that I know you by and then art portfolio. It already will add the .weebly.com. It'll tell you if it's available. Hit continue. And then it takes you to your site. It might pop up with a video tutorial. You can X out of that. The first thing you guys want to go to is over to pages. You should have three pages listed. We're going to keep the home page. That looks good. You can come down here and look at page layout. This one has like a giant picture you can put at the top a skinny picture, no picture, and this one has a little picture with some text and a little tab to go somewhere else. I would recommend to start maybe either short header or no header. I'm going to click on this one and it's going to stay as home page. The next one just to kind of go between, these are our three pages that exist right now. I'm going to click on about. I'm simply going to rename this about me. And then again you can decide on your header. Then we click on where it says contact. I'm going to erase this and this is where I'm going to put art portfolio. I'm going to stick with this too. We go down here and hit save and edit. And you should be able to see your three pages appear up here. And I can click between them. I'm not sure you're going to see much difference down here, but when I click about me, it goes to that, art portfolio. When you actually have elements on the page, that's when you're going to be able to see that. So um, on your home page, what I would like you to do, actually let me stop for a second here. When you're in build mode, you have different elements that you can drag over to your page. Down here it says drag element here. And it doesn't go down that far because we don't have anything yet. So I can click on title. And if you're using your Dell venue, you really do want to try to use the keyboard because the touch screen gets a little weird with this. So I dragged it over, I dropped it. When I mouse over, it tells me click here to edit. So I can click on this. I'm going to write um, Pierce. And it gives you where you can make things bold. You can um, highlight it. It's kind of like Word. So I can go back in and I can increase my font. I can change the color of my font. I can center my words. So there's a few options you have within this. Text is meant to, when you drag it over, and when you drag it, it shows you a blue line. Wherever that blue line appears is where your object or thing that you're dragging over is going to go. Um, right now it's going to go above it. If I come down a little bit, it's actually appearing over here. It's going to go to the left and make a column. If I go below, it's going to pop up below. Your text is more for when you want to um, write more of a paragraph. So this is my website. And image is for a single image, so I'm going to drag this over. It tells you to upload image here. 
So I'm going to upload the image. And go to my desktop. I don't even know what pictures I have. Okay, here's a collage. So your single image will pop up. And once you start adding elements to your page, they don't have to be permanently where you set them. Let's say I decided, ooh, I really want this picture on top. When I mouse over it, I get this little thing right here. I click there. I'm holding down my mouse. I can mouse up and it, that blue line appears again. And this tells me, okay, do you want it between your title and your words? Which is where it would go if I dropped it there. Or I can scoot it on up and when that blue line appears, I let go and it's above Pierce. If I decide, ooh, I really didn't even want this here, when I'm not on it, like my mouse is over here, nothing's there, but if I mouse back over it, I get a little X. And I can click on that, and it allows me to delete it. And my other things should shift back up this way. Um, the gallery, which we're going to use this stuff more in our other pages, allows you to upload multiple images. So I could go here and click on this, this, and this one. And they may take a minute to load, depending on how speed, fast the internet's going. Very slow right now. Once these pop up, you have the option to click on it, and it asks you how many columns do you want. So you can kind of play with how big you want your pictures. I can make two columns. I could actually say four, so there'd be an extra little space here. So you have some freedom with what you want to do there. I'm going to get rid of that real quick. The last one is a slideshow. I'm only going to put two pictures in this because this can take a while to load if you have a lot of pictures. Um, this allows you to have where you just have a, one picture showing and you can't see the others. And then all these other options give you like little thumbnails that you can see. So then you go to upload from computer. Pick my pictures. And you should be adding multiple pictures at a time here when you do that. You hold down control once you click on one picture to keep adding more. Um, hit save. And if I scroll down a little bit, I should be able to see the little thumbnails right there. Um, let me check real quick. Within our things that we're going to be adding, there's nothing else I'm really going to have you guys add currently. So your three pages, what I'm expecting is on your home page, you should have a title that says, Welcome to my page, and then a description that talks about, I'm an Art 1 or an Art 2 student at Myrtle Beach High School. Um, thanks for stopping by and checking out my artwork. Just a quick little welcome to your site saying however you want that. If you want to put a couple pictures here, that's fine. If you want to make your banner one of your artworks, when you mouse over the banner, it says Edit Image and you can kind of upload your own image. They have pictures here. I'd prefer you upload a picture of something you did in the class. It would be great. I'm not going to do that right now though. Right here, click to add a headline. I could write Jen Pierce Art there. So that each site is a little different with what it allows you to actually edit on the page. On your About Me, so if I want to go to my About Me site, I'm going to click there. And what I'm expecting here, again, you, you fix your banner however you want it. You should drag over an image and upload a picture of yourself. I'll put this one up. No, I'll put this one up. And you might struggle a little bit to figure out which one you want. You may change this out. You can add a slideshow of yourself. You have freedom there, but the main thing I'm looking for is that you have a picture of you represented on this page. And I think a good way to set this up then, so I've got this picture. I can go back in and click on this picture and it gives me some editing options. I can edit it and it should let me make it smaller. Pushing in right here because that was kind of big on the page. I don't need my face that big. Hit save. Save that again. It should be a lot smaller, I hope. Okay, and from here, I'm going to click on text and you can either put your text underneath it or beside it. I'm just going to put it underneath. 
And I think a couple good things to put is introduce yourself again. So hi, I'm Jen Pierce. Um, you can talk about things that you like. This, remember, this is your art website, so you should probably talk about things that inspire you. Um, you could reference like what is your favorite type of medium to work in? Do you like working? Do you like painting? Do you like drawing? Do you like just working in your sketchbook the best? Um, do you like doing portraits of people? Do you like drawing animals? Do you like creating more abstract things? Pick about five things about you. It doesn't necessarily have to be art related, but this is your art website, so it might be good to go in a direction like that. So give me about five things about yourself for your About Me site. And the last one is the art portfolio. This is where you need to be careful that you're adding all your work here. Don't put it on your About Me, don't put it on your homepage. The list of your work from the class should be an art portfolio. And to do this, this is very specific what I want, you're going to drag over image. Don't use gallery and don't use slideshow. So I'm going to drag over an image. And let me pause this for just a second. Okay, so you slap, um, bring in the image, click and upload your work. Um, make sure when you are uploading your work to this, it should be a nice picture. Don't have like tons of stuff in the background. If you need to go in and crop it, pick in the photo editor like Pixlr maybe to crop your work. It's P-I-X-L-R. Or um, your Dell Venue, when you open your um, picture editor stuff, it should have a way to crop it in there. So here's a piece that I did, and I have it cropped in. This thing is in a picture frame. So here's my artwork. Um, on our website, which is where you're viewing this right now, if you scroll to the bottom, so this is under um, Art One. You should, if you're viewing this, you're under Digital Portfolio. Scroll to the bottom, past everybody else's stuff, and it says write a credit line and an artist statement. The credit line. That's what I'm going to show you right now, and I want this very specific. You click on your picture. It says caption. This is going to make it small, and it's going to be right underneath your image. So I'm going to click on this, and what I want. Again, it says this right here, is your name, title, medium, which is what you made it out of, the size, date, and location. So your name, this is me, Jen Pierce, comma, title, I'll call it under the C. Put your little parentheses. Um, the medium, this is watercolor. Size, you can kind of guess on this a little bit, but when you do inches, this is 8 inches by, we'll say 11 inches. Date, you can just put the month and the year. So I made this one, I think, back in November, November 2015. And location for all of your stuff, just put MBHS, Myrtle Beach High School. To get out of this mode, you can either just click right outside. If I scroll down, I should see that's the credit line. That's what I want right there on every one of your pictures that you put in here. It should be that organized. The last thing then, I'm going to drag over a text now right below this. And this is where I want your artist statement. So I'm going to go back over here. Artist statement, write a short paragraph kind of talking about the following. You do not have to answer all of these questions. If you feel comfortable just going off and saying, um, I'm really inspired by the sea and um, I was experimenting with watercolor techniques and you can see kind of in this area there's the salt technique and I used some plastic wrap in this area to kind of create some different textures and I was playing with values in this area. If you, if you feel comfortable talking about those elements and principles, do it. But if you don't, go by some of these questions. Describe your art. Tell me what's in it and where things are placed. Analyze it. How did you use lines and shapes? Um, <coughs> what's the mood or feeling? Judge it. What did you learn by doing this project? Answer any of these. You want about five to ten sentences for your artist statement. To save this, I'm running out of time for my video, you hit publish. That's where it's going to be. I hit continue. When it gets to this point, this is where it's trying to tell you, hey, there's a .com, go buy this. It's published. Website published. You can click here and view your final website. Jen Pierce Art, Art Portfolio. There's my work.